So hey guys, today I am back again with a Love Me Beauty video. This one is, um, this one is joined with um, a puppy in the background. This is Jessie, if you haven't already met her before. Six month old Cocker Spaniel puppy and I think she's just about to settle down which is great timing because she's been ripping or at least trying to rip up that carrier bag. Um, she's got loads of toys here, she just thinks that a carrier bag is far more interesting. So if you hear weird noises, that's her. But um, anyway, Love Me Beauty August. I have a code, they do send these to me every month. The code is TASHA17, that'll get you 20% um, off your first box, I believe, at the moment. They were doing a free gift, but they sold out of that because you guys went and bought so many of them. But the code TASHA17, it's either, it's either a discount on your first box or a free gift. So if you're watching this from the future, it might be slightly different. Just check up on their website and it will tell you when you use the code. I do receive a tiny bit of permission, so if you're not happy with that, don't use the code. But, you know, you're losing out as well. So, yes, this is this month's one. Um, this is the bag that they used last month as well. So it's, it's quite a cute one. It's blue and white. And it says, I didn't choose a glam life. The glam life chose me. Jessie. Oh, she's got a chew as well. That's what she's doing. Jessie, oi! Can you stop making so much noise, please? So yeah, this is the bag. Lovely little bags. I use these makeup bags all the time. They're the perfect size to just put... You can throw a load of stuff in here. I also use them as, like, packing cubes, sort of, when I go on holiday. I have, like, one for, like, my wires and chargers. Oi! <laughs> she's going crazy. Jessie! I have one for like my charges and things and then one for like makeup and like even you can put like swimming costumes in here they're really good to take down to the beach and stuff so this one there's lots of really cool brands on lovely beauty that i have seen before in there but there's one brand i've never tried anything from so i'm really excited about that so i'm just going to i have had a little look in here um oh my god what you're making so much noise no 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 no, no. Ah. but yeah this Look, play with your toys. Play with your toys. Good girl. So yeah, <laughs> let's try that again. First things first, in here is from Buxom. This is a brand I've never tried anything from before. Um, this is their full-on lip polish. And um, I'm not sure if there's a shade. Oh, it's in the shade Dolly. And it looks like some kind of, it's a lip gloss type thing. I haven't opened it yet, but I have had a quick look at what's like inside here just so I could sort of familiarise myself when I first got it. And also because I just cannot sit here and wait until I'm supposed to be doing the video. I just like to have a look when I first get it. So opening up, you get this little sample sized one, which I think is really cute. It's a nice colour. Oh, it's like, it's the same colour on here, but it's this colour, but it's got like a little gold sort of, reflex shimmer in it which is really nice um it's their most popular best-selling shade it gives you a super sexy pout it's got vitamin a and e and it's supposed to be really shiny really shimmery oh and it gives you a tink oi no you're not playing that bag and it's, it's supposed to be sort of i think it's supposed to be a bit plumping because it says it gives you like a tingly tingly effect so yeah this is the little sample really cute little doe for applicator and if I put it on the back of my hand it's quite nice it's not too intense of a color which I quite like I like lip glosses to be sort of a little bit sheer but the um, sort of gold is really really pretty in that and I think I would definitely get some wear out of this slightly scented although I've got a bit of a cold so I can't quite tell you what it is but there is a scent to it if that's the sort of thing that might bother you also from Buxom, this is actually a brand I think is quite hard to get in the UK as well, bit, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like a Sephora brand, you can't get in um, many places in the UK online. So this is a Buxom mascara, it just says lash mascara, um, intensely volumizes, separates and defines, cool little packaging, um, I really like the sort of shininess, I think that looks really nice, and it's in blackest black, which is always good, if I open it up, finally settled down. So, how? I have to open the other end and like push it through I guess. There we go. Nice sample size. I don't know how many mils it is. Six mils, so that's a pretty good size. Looks like this. Quite cool packaging. Kind of looks like the, um, from packaging wise, the benefit, um, oh, what is it? 
their like main mascara, their old bad girl lash. Kind of reminds me of that packaging wise. Um, opening it up. Oh, I'm going to love this. This is a sort of, it's a plasticky, bristly wand. Um, goes like out and then it like dips in the middle. Very slightly, not too obvious. But um, this is my kind of a mascara wand. The only thing I wish it had was some spiky bits on the end. I quite like that for just sort of an extra bit of definition. But I'm sure you could just do that anyway with the brush. But yeah, full sized um, brush by the way. Sometimes in samples they do like mini brushes. Which I just think is stupid because you can't really get to... Um, test out the mascara but yeah really happy with that that one looks lovely and I can't wait to try that out might do a get ready with me soon and give this one a go I have actually just bought the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara so probably won't use that one too much for now but I want to give it a go for sure next up the next three items are all from Kat Von D which is amazing because Kat Von D again is a brand that's quite hard to get hold of in the UK it's quite expensive so nice to give some things a go without having to really really spend a lot of money on them this is one of her perfumes in the scent saint i don't know how i'm going to get into this one because the packaging looks pretty strong but it's in this little cute white box i think there was two different scent choices when i had a look on the website and so i'm not sure i didn't actually know that cat only did perfume at all so it's quite exciting i do like her packaging it's all like red and pretty on the inside and this is what the perfume looks like. It's a little clear bottle with white and like white patterns on it. Jessie, wee, what are you looking for? Take the lid off and it's actually got a good sprayer on it. I love that. I hate it when perfume samples have a little thing. You just take the thing off and then you've got to like put it on you. So let's give it a go. I do actually have perfume on today, which never happens. I don't wear perfume because I just forget. So, oh, I like that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a perfume person, but if I had to describe that, I'd say it's very fresh and a little bit fruity, but really like that actually. So quite glad about that, but I'm sure there was two different perfume choices. So yeah, that's a different one. It's quite nice to have perfume in there because you can get a good use out of it before it runs out. You know, you can, I don't know how to put it, <laughs> just talking rubbish. Next up is the Kat Von D setting powder. I don't know if this is in a, oh, it's in the shade translucent. Another really good thing to get in a box like this because you can use, it takes you a long time to get through these kinds of things because there's obviously you don't use very much. <coughs> so yes, as I was trying to say, it's a good thing to get in these boxes because you don't use, no, give me my tissue back. Thank you. Good girl, good girl, good girl. You don't use very much of these so you can get a good like amount of trialing from it. What you, oh, she's just nicked my tissue. Thief. And Kat Von D's packaging is always really cool and stuff. So always with translucent powders, I feel like you need to tap the lid because otherwise it just goes everywhere when you open it. Ah, it's taped up, so that's good. Um, but yeah, also this would be a really good thing to take away for going on holiday for the weekend or something, or a week even, you could probably make this last. It's the Locket Sec Setting Powder, which is supposed to be a really good line. I've heard lots about her Locket foundation, so I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. And lastly, it's one of her lipsticks. I have already got one of her lipsticks in like a little mini form. I've also got one of her liquid lipsticks in a mini form, and I've got a big one of her li liquid lipsticks as well. And I, I don't know how I feel about them. I sort of like them, but I feel like they're never quite as good as they are hyped up. I feel like they're hyped up quite a bit. But anyway, this is the packaging. It's in the shade Cathedral. Really nice deep colour on the inside. I think that's the colour it's meant to be packaging is like a little studded thing this is obviously a mini one and you open it up and it's the cutest little lipstick you've ever seen look at that it's so tiny so i'll give it a swatch but this color looks beautiful oh i'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of that this is gorgeous i know it's not in focus but like yeah i love that that looks beautiful and um, the formula is quite nice of her lipsticks. They're always quite sort of smooth, but they don't always last that long. I always find. So yeah, that is everything for the Love Me Beauty box for. Or it's, it used to be a box. It's now a bag, but I keep saying box for August. Don't forget, if you do want to use my code, it's Tasha17. It will either get you a free gift or a discount at the moment. I think it's a discount, but it might go back to being a free gift. They're sort of trying out different things at the moment. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.